But why do we prune a wisteria on a pergola? A wisteria is an aggressively vigorous plant, and if you don't trim it, it will grow into a massive tangle meters above the pergola, and the flowers will be all up there out of sight. This one near my work hasn't been pruned for years and is a big mess. If you want your flowers to hang down through the pergola, then you'll have to trim it tightly back onto the pergola structure. When to prune a wisteria? To keep a wisteria on a pergola looking nice, it needs to be trimmed at least twice a year. Once on the longest day of the year and once on the shortest day of the year. So you'll do winter pruning in the middle of winter and summer pruning in the middle of summer. What is the difference between winter pruning and summer pruning for a wisteria? In summer, you're pruning all the long whippy canes back to about a foot or two from the pergola. Now I've come to prune in winter, I can see how in summer I cut all the long canes back to about a foot or two. This wisteria is so vigorous that some canes had to be trimmed twice or three times during the summertime because they grew back each time after I trimmed them. And what do we have to do in winter? In winter, you take all those one, two foot trimmed canes and trim them back now to about an inch, leaving just two or three buds. This keeps the vine in discipline close to the pergola. Don't trim the small flower spurs, which can be recognized by their knobbly look and their greater concentration of buds. That's where the flowers come from in spring. So only trim the long smooth canes that you shortened in summer. If you want more information on the difference between fruiting spurs and vegetative canes, I have another video linked at the top right corner here. So all the vertical canes get trimmed. You can keep some canes that are growing horizontally, but even those can gradually arch upwards. So winter is a good time to tie them closely to the pergola. When you finish your winter prune, the wisteria will look smart like a freshly groomed poodle, and that will encourage the flowering spurs to form nice and close to the pergola structure. Check back in in a few months, and I'll show you the breathtaking display of long racemes hanging down beneath the pergola. Cheers.